Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to PSP student management system project tutorial for beginner. Now in the previous tutorial, we added teacher data over here in our home page. Now in this tutorial, we are going to show those teacher data to the admin dashboard so that the admin can delete and update the teacher data. So let me just log into the admin dashboard. Let me give the username then password on two three four click login. So here you can see this is our admin dashboard and on the left side you can see view teacher. So what we want is that if we click the view teacher option then it will take us to another view where we can see all the teacher data over here. So for it let's go back to our code and we will directly go to admin underscore sidebar dot php and inside this admin underscore sidebar dot PC file we have all the sidebar here you can see admission as student view student at teacher and here you can see view teacher so inside this href we are going to say let's say admin underscore view underscore teacher so uh, what we want if someone click this view teacher option then it will take us to this space so teacher dot php so we do not have this admin underscore view underscore teacher dot psp so let's go and create this pc file so i'll just right click over here you can see student management just right click over here then click new file and here we'll say admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so right now control s then save so let me just say over here uh, let's say view all teacher if i now save it then if we just refresh over here and now if i just click on this view teacher option here you can see it says view all teacher text over here so we want to have the uh, this design to the admin underscore v underscore teacher dot psc page uh, so for it let's go back to our code and we'll directly go to our uh, admin home dot php and here you can see some code so we are going to copy everything from here so control a control c so here you can see the uh, admin underscore css here you can see uh, admin underscore sidebar dot php so we are going to copy this and we are going to paste it inside this admin underscore view underscore teacher dot php so let me remove it then control v so here uh, instead of admin dashboard here you can here we will say let's say view all teacher data save it now so control s then if we just refresh here here you can see view all teacher data written over here and we also have the header part and the sidebar so right now we will show the teacher data over here using table so let's go back to our code then here you can see deep class content and inside this deep class we are going to write some html code to create a table so let me just say over here let's say uh, let's use table tag here and inside this table tag we are going to say tr and inside this tr we will say th th means table header and tr means table row so first of all uh, we are going to say our here name which is teacher name so let's say teacher name so let me just copy it then paste it over here and let's just say about teacher which is actually the description okay let me just show you the teacher table in the database so let's go back to our browser and here you can see this our psc my admin and here you can see our database name is school project and our table name is teacher you can see and in the table we have the teacher name description and the teacher image so we are going to show that name description and image over here so, so the teacher description is actually uh, about teacher so the third one it will be the teacher image so let's just say over here image so we are going to create uh, let's say another tr and inside this let's say some td uh, let me just copy this td Control c and i'm going to paste it two times so if i now save it then if we just refresh here here you can see that this is our table and it looks like this so we are going to make some design for it so let's go back so here you can see the table tag here so inside the table tag we are going to say border on px so if you save it then if we refresh here you can see there is a little bit uh, kind of a border over here so we are going to make some more designs so here you can see the th tag so inside this 
each tag we are going to mention a class so let me just see our here class uh, let's say the class name will be uh, let's say table th underscore th and here you can see the td tag so inside the inside the td tag we are going to mention another class let's say class and it will be table underscore td so we are going to make some design for them so let's write the css for the uh, or style for the table underscore th first so we'll go at the top and here you can see the head tag so inside the head tag we are going to write style tag and inside the style tag we are going to mention the class uh, which is dot table underscore th first so let's say over here uh, padding padding will be let's say 20 px and let's say the font size for the table header will be 20 px as well so if you save it then refresh here you can see it looks like this right now now let's also uh, do the same for the td but let me just write some random things inside td first let's say abc save it then refresh so here you can see that the design is currently look like this so let's change it a little bit uh, so we are going to use this class for the style so we'll go at the top and inside this style tag we are going to give another dot then table underscore td then let's say here padding it will be let's say 20 px and let's say background color it will be sky blue save it then refresh okay this looks better now have uh, let's have this in the middle so that is actually really simple all we are going to do is that mention a center tag here and this center tag will end uh, after the table save it refresh okay this is better now let's just show data from the table from here so for it first of all we need to add this uh, admin underscore teacher dot php to the database so for it we are just going to uh, declare some variable first let's say dollar host equal to it will be first local host after dollar host we are going to say dollar user equal to it will be root then we are going to say dollar password it will be null and the last one will be dollar db and our database name is school project so i'm going to say school project so after this we just uh, require to declare another variable we'll say dollar data equal to we are going to say mysql i underscore connect to first bracket indeed with a semicolon and inside this first bracket we are going to mention those variable you can see so let's just first mention dollar host comma we are going to say dollar user comma dollar password comma dollar db so once we write this line it means we are connected to the database so right now uh, only one thing is left and that is showing the uh, data from the database to our this view so for it we require to write a scale query over here so let's declare a variable called sql equal to we are going to say select then we'll say star form teacher which is our table name so once we write this line it means we are actually getting all the data from the teacher table and storing it in this variable so after it we will declare another variable let's say dollar result equal to mysqli underscore query and inside this two first bracket first of all we are going to mention this dollar data variable so let me just copy it and paste it over here then we will give a comma and here you can see dollar sql so we are going to copy it and paste it here so once you write this line it means the query is properly executed and storing everything in the dollar result variable so right now in order to show the data from the table we just need to mention a while loop over here in order to show the data so the while loop will start over here from here and the while loop will end after this since we are going to write a while loop and while loop is actually a PHP code and we cannot write PSP code inside a HTML code. So for it, we need to give this PSP opening, then PSP closing, and inside it, we are going to mention the while loop. So let's say over here, while we'll give two first bracket, and here first we need to declare a variable. Let's say dollar info. You can declare any variable you want. Then dollar info equal to we are going to say dollar result. 
then we'll give this arrow sign then we'll say page underscore aso and we'll give also two first bracket here as well then the second bracket we need to give two second bracket actually and the first second bracket will start from here and this second bracket will end after this tier tag now the second bracket is also a psv code so we also again need to start the psv tag here and close the psv tag here and inside this psv opening and closing we are going to give the second bracket so here you can see the while loop started over here uh, before this tier tag and it ended here after the tier tag so here you can see some td so inside this td we are going to show all the data so uh, in order to show the data we need to write some codes here so let me just uh, give the psv opening and the closing first so inside this psv opening and psv closing okay let me just write it like this so that you can uh, see it clearly so inside this psv opening and closing we are going to say echo then we'll give two double quotation and inside it we are going to give two second bracket then let's say dollar info we'll give two third bracket and two single quotation so here we are going to say name now where is this name coming from if we go to our database and let me just zoom in so here you can see name so here this name is actually this one which we just mentioned over here so if we just save it now then if you just refresh here here you can see the name perfectly name john matthew and steven which was in the database and here you can see abc 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 which is just uh, replied multiple time because we didn't write anything for them so let me just copy the psc tag over here so Control c and i'm going to paste it over here then okay let me just write it properly then here instead of name we will say description which is in the database let me just show you again uh, let me zoom in here you can see description which is in the database and we also have image okay we'll uh, show the image a little bit later so if i now just save it then if we just refresh here you can see the description over here as well now let's go and show the image so in order to show the image we need to use image tag so inside this td we are mentioned we are going to mention image tag so let's say img and here you can see source so inside this source uh, let me just copy this code Control c and i'm going to paste it here and instead of description we are going to say image which uh, came from the database actually okay let me just uh, write it like this so that you can see clearly so here you can see in the source we uh, mention the PSP tag and here uh, you can see image which came from the database so if i now save it then let's refresh so here you can see the images over here and that that is too big actually so let's just mention the height and width for the image so for it now here in the image tag we are going to mention the height and width so let's say height let's say uh, height will be let's say 100 px okay somehow uh, this sign came let me just remove it and let's say width it will be 100 px as well okay this sign came again let me remove it again i don't know why it came so if i now save it and then if we just refresh so here you can see the image is a lot smaller than before so this is how you can show data in the admin panel so in the next tutorial we'll have a delete option and we'll also have an update option so that the admin can update teacher emails and teacher data as well so this is all about this tutorial thank you very much for watching and if this tutorial was helpful then please subscribe my channel and if you have any question let me know in the comment section i'll surely reply you back thanks for watching stay tuned and stay healthy